Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore S500 companies through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Today, we're focusing on Monster Beverage, a leading company in the energy drink industry. Monster Beverage is known for its wide range of energy drinks and innovative marketing strategies. We'll explore how behavioral finance influences their marketing strategies, DEI initiatives, market adaptation, and how they compare to other companies in the beverage sector. Let's get started. Monster Beverage operates in a highly competitive market with rapidly changing consumer preferences. How do biases like the bandwagon effect and loss aversion influence their marketing strategies and product development? The bandwagon effect is highly relevant to Monster Beverage's marketing strategies. This bias refers to the tendency for people to adopt certain behaviors or preferences because they see others doing the same. Monster Beverage leverages this by creating a strong brand image and community around its products, often using sponsorships and endorsements from popular athletes and influencers. This helps drive consumer demand as people are more likely to try a product that is perceived as popular or endorsed by others. Loss aversion also plays a role in product development and marketing. This bias, where people prefer to avoid losses rather than acquiring equivalent gains, can influence Monster Beverage's decisions about product innovations and pricing strategies. For instance, they may avoid discontinuing popular flavors or introducing risky new products that might not meet customer expectations in order to minimize potential losses. By understanding and managing these biases, Monster Beverage can more effectively tailor their marketing strategies and product offerings to meet consumer demands and maintain a competitive edge. Exactly. Addressing the bandwagon effect and loss aversion helps Monster Beverage create compelling marketing campaigns and product lines that resonate with consumers and drive brand loyalty. Let's discuss diversity, equity, and inclusion day at Monster Beverage. How do DEI initiatives intersect with behavioral finance in the context of a beverage company? DEI initiatives are important for Monster Beverage as they seek to build a diverse and inclusive company culture. From a behavioral finance perspective, strong DEI efforts can enhance employee satisfaction and engagement, which is crucial for innovation and brand development. A diverse workforce brings different perspectives and ideas, which can lead to more effective marketing strategies and product innovations. For investors, DEI efforts signal that the company is committed to ethical practices and social responsibility. This can positively impact Monster Beverage's reputation and attractiveness to socially conscious investors, potentially leading to improved financial performance and brand perception. Investors are increasingly considering DEI efforts when evaluating companies, recognizing that a diverse workforce can drive better business outcomes and innovation. Precisely. By integrating DEI into their corporate strategies, Monster Beverage not only strengthens its internal operations but also enhances its market position and appeal to investors who value inclusivity and social responsibility. Moving on to market adaptation, Monster Beverage operates in a sector with evolving consumer trends and intense competition. How does the company adapt to these changes and what role does behavioral finance play? Monster Beverage adapts by continuously innovating its product line and responding to shifts in consumer preferences. Behavioral finance helps them understand market sentiment and identify emerging trends. For instance, if there's a growing interest in health-conscious or natural ingredients, Monster Beverage might develop new product lines that align with these trends. By leveraging insights from behavioral finance, Monster Beverage can make strategic adjustments to its marketing and product development efforts, ensuring they remain relevant and competitive in a dynamic market. Their ability to adapt to consumer trends and market changes is crucial for maintaining their position in the energy drink industry and ensuring continued success. Exactly. By applying insights from behavioral finance, Monster Beverage can navigate market fluctuations and evolving consumer preferences, optimizing their strategies for long-term growth. Now, 
let's compare Monster Beverage to other beverage companies like Red Bull, PepsiCo, and the Coca-Cola Company. How do the behavioral finance dynamics differ? Each beverage company has unique behavioral finance dynamics. Monster Beverage focuses on energy drinks and lifestyle branding, whereas Red Bull is known for its strong association with extreme sports and lifestyle. PepsiCo and the Coca-Cola Company have broader portfolios that include a wide range of beverages, including soft drinks, juices, and snacks. Understanding these dynamics helps investors evaluate the relative strengths and strategies of each company and how behavioral finance influences their market positioning. Exactly. By comparing these companies, investors can assess which provider's strategies align with their investment goals and how behavioral finance impacts their performance and market approach. To sum up, Monster Beverage's approach is influenced by behavioral finance principles, whether it's through marketing strategies, DEI efforts, or market adaptation. These factors play a crucial role in shaping their market position and investor perception. That's right. Understanding these dynamics provides valuable insights into what drives Monster Beverage's performance and where potential opportunities and challenges lie. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Community Corner Podcast. Until next time, I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives. <laughs>